Hi, everyone. Hi, welcome to Japan. Are you enjoying Osaka? Oh, yeah, sounds great. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, new voting systems. And uh, I just want to tell one, ju one, just one simple key message today, uh, which is let's trade our voting system for a better one, uh, such as majority judgment and quadratic voting, as to change this world to a better one. And before I give my presentation, let me introduce myself quickly. Uh, my name is uh, Masahiro Yasu, please call me Masa. And uh, I founded Alice uh, in 2017, which is a social media using Ethereum blockchain. And I'm also in charge of the Radical Exchange Japan chapter, uh, which is created by Glenn Whale, the, the famous book's author, uh, Radical Markets. I think um, most of you know about uh, Radical Markets. And uh, our company is also researching uh, mechanism design with a famous economist, uh, Toyotaka Sakai, from Keio University, uh, which is one of the most famous private universities in Japan, uh, to create Alice as decentralized as possible. So that's why I'm looking into the new voting ways to, to create our service, a more decentralized one. So today, uh, before I introduce my, uh, the, the new voting ways, I want to ask some questions to you. Why did Brexit happen? Also, why was George W. Bush uh, elected as a U.S. president in 2000, uh, U.S. Pre uh, US uh, president uh, election? Also, our goal was recognized uh, as the best candidate. I think uh, there are many reasons for that, but uh, it was due to the current voting system, uh, majority rule, having a huge effect. For example, people can't reflect the strengths of their preference. Also, easily re result in a spoiler effect. I'll explain what spoiler effect later. And it's relatively easy to manipulate as well. So, I want to introduce two better alternatives to the majority rule. First one is majority judgment, and second one is quadratic voting. So, what's uh, majority judgment? It's, this is the image of majority judgment, so it's like this. Instead of choosing one option, voters give a score to every available option. Uh, on x-axis, you can see the options, and on y-axis, uh, you can choose how much you like each option. And after voting, you can cal calculate the median of all options, and the, the option with the highest median wins the vote. And majority judgment guarantees the contentment of the majority of all voters. And it also prevents uh, the spoiler effect, which is one spoiler candidate uh, in an election draws, uh, draws votes from a major candidate with similar politics. In case of 2000 US president election, do you not remember Ralph Nader? He suddenly came up and he ate the votes of uh, Al Gore. So uh, as a result, accidentally, uh, George W. Bush won. So, you can prevent uh, this uh, spoiler effect by using uh, majority judgment. And the second uh, voting way is uh, quadratic voting. Uh, votes are bought with credit. So, if you want to buy one vote, then you have to consume one credit. And uh, the, the cost of the, the price of votes increases quadratic, quadratically for each vote. So if you want to vote two, then you have to consume uh, four credit, and three for nine credit. And the option with the most amount of votes wins. So uh, Cuban voters are able to express how strong they feel about a certain option. And uh, 
I've, I've read uh, many documentation about quadratic voting or majority judgment, but there are very few use cases, so we actually try to use them on our service. So we use majority judgment on Alice for choosing a new category. Alice is a social media so which has a, uh, which has a category on top page, so we use uh, majority judgment for choosing a new category. And uh, also, we use quadratic voting for choosing a uh, main strategy of Alice in 2020. I don't tell the, the detailed outcome here because it takes a lot of time, but I'll share the summary paper, uh, which is created by uh, Teotaka Sakai, the, the, the economist I introduced to you. So, just I share the, the good points of those uh, voting weights. First, about uh, majority judgment, which is quite simple, so you don't have to explain what is a majority judgment to voters. Also, uh, it has high resistance to manipulation, and it also sketches a picture of users' overall preference as byproduct. And the, the last point is very huge merit for me, which is result is compatible to border rules, which is also a famous voting way, or majority rule. So you can compare the outcomes and decide on one with more confidence. I think this is a hu huge merit. And also the good point of quadratic voting is it's also simple, but you need to explain a little for voters because uh, there are no way to consume your credit point to vote now. So, but it's uh, relatively simple as well. And it can reflect the preference of a minority that has uh, the largest interest in a particular poll. Uh, Glenn, the, the author of Radical Markets, also emphasized this in, in his book. And it makes voters think more because it has kind of gaming factor. So, resulting in people taking the vote more serious. So, in conclusion, majority judgment functions much better than other voting rules, such as majority rules. So, implementing is relatively easy. And as developers of a platform, the extra info the result gives is also a nice plus. plus. And it's one of the greatest voting systems, uh, not only practically, but theologically, according to Professor Sakai. And uh, quadratic voting pro provided an interesting outcome, more difficult to implement uh, compared to majority judgment, but worth trying depending on the poll subject. And especially beneficial if you want to give a power to minority. So, uh, from this part, our city of Sota will talk about the rest of the presentation. Konnichiwa. Oh, oh. Uh, hi, I'm Sota Ishi, CTO of the ARIS. And uh, today, I intended to talk about some technical topics. Uh, however, uh, it is not so difficult to, uh, for experienced engineers to build a voting contract. Uh, actually, there is not, nothing to say. Uh, just build, uh, that's all. So uh, today, uh, I'll talk about uh, the following uh, shortly. Uh, as you said, uh, majority rule uh, is uh, not an ideal voting system. Um, however, uh, there is no silver bullet. Uh, in other words, there is no uh, airtight uh, alternatives. Therefore, uh, I wanted to argue that we engineers should run a social choice theory, uh, including voting systems. Uh, there are a lot of voting systems, and each has its own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, majority rule, uh, majority judgment, and uh, quality voting uh, are just one of many options. Uh, each each serves their own uh, prop, uh, uh, purpose. Uh, fortunately, uh, fortunately uh, there is a huge amount of brilliant knowledge uh, in this area. 
I just started uh, to learn about this field this year, uh, but I believe do doing so can help engineers uh, like us uh, who are dealing in, uh, with blockchain governance. To achieve good system, you have to understand what uh, what we are building anyway. It is uh, interesting to note that uh, there is a uh, conference in this area called the uh, NSFCEME Decentralization Conference, uh, which has been around since uh, 1970. Uh, I'm sure the impl uh, implication of decentralization have changed since then. However, it seems like in the latest conference, uh, they have also been discussing blockchain. Uh, what I am trying to say is there is a lot of information out there to be uh, studied. So to all engineers in this room, uh, do consider reading up on the some uh, social choice theory. And let co uh, let's go over to build a well-structured governance system to achieve our vision uh, to empower the individual together. Uh, thank you. Uh, to uh, to con before uh, we finish our presentation, I'd like to introduce the paper uh, as I mentioned, and uh, this is a summary paper on majority judgment. So you can learn many things about the, the majority judgments, good point and also bad points. So uh, please take a look at it. And this, I, I want to say a special thanks to Professor Tsurutaka Sakai. So to conclude our session, uh, uh, my presentation, uh, I'd like to share one story uh, relevant to Japan about what happens when you use majority rule. Uh, have you heard about our Minister of Cybersecurity? Anyone? No? Uh, he's uh, 69 years old and uh, with the best uh, security policy. Why best? Because he doesn't use a computer. <laughs> also, he said he has not ever used computer before, and uh, he also said he doesn't know what a USB is. Again, he is our Minister of Cybersecurity, so this may happen in under current voting system. I think this is quite serious. And uh, ironically, the next, next speaker is uh, the, the IT uh, minister of Taiwan, and also known as a genius programmer. So uh, I think she's going to talk about uh, more detail about quadratic voting. And I really look forward to it. So please give her a warm welcome. Thank you.